I am David, a technician at AVA Custom Computers, home to over 10,000 unique component options. And today, we're going to be looking at the Trikes Panorama Water Block in our open loop configurator. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So, first we have the cooler with, looks like a fan cable and a USB cable. Underneath that, we have some Trikes branded fittings. 90 degree rotary, pretty good rotary on these actually. And then we have the Trikes branded compression fittings, which use a single large O-ring. So these should be very good at keeping water in. Underneath that, we have your usual books and warranty guide. Then we have, underneath that, we have our AMD adapter bracket for installing on AMD. And we also have a tube of Trikes' A01 thermal compound. Now, let's go ahead and look at this water block. This is going to be an Asetek design. It's co-branded with Asetek and Trikes. So you'll see their normal cold plate that you're gonna see on a lot of their Gen 8 coolers. Do we also have the VRM fan? Uh, we did find that this was actually very useful at cooling VRMs and testing. About 12C better than a standard water block. Now we also have Trikes' iconic curved display. And honestly, this thing just looks great. Great colors, great brightness. Definitely the centerpiece of your build. So now let's go ahead and install this. We obviously don't need the AMD bracket as this is our Z690 open loop test bench. And we have already pre-installed the brackets for this cooler. So, on the back of this cooler, you're gonna have two standard G1 quarter fittings. We're just gonna go ahead and put these right angle trikes rotary fittings in here. Now we also, because this is our test bench, we have our quick disconnects to make things a little easier for us. Now that we have our quick disconnects on, let's go ahead and install this on our test bench. First, you're gonna take the screen off and just set it aside for now. Now, let's go ahead and put some thermal paste on the CPU. We're just gonna use the standard Alpha Zero One thermal paste that Trikes includes in the box. Now, there's no perfect way to do this, but I usually, for these, just do a nice thin line right down the center. For this cooler, the fittings are intended to be at the bottom, so you can just line that up with the back plate and go ahead and tighten it down. We always recommend in a crisscross pattern, but as these are spring tensioned, it matters a little less for perfect pressure than some other coolers. So yeah, once you get to the bottom, you will feel a lot of resistance. That's perfectly fine. Just stop right then, because that's when the screws are applying the perfect amount of tension. Now, once your cooler is on and mounted, you can go ahead and take this wire and run it to anything that says pump or CPU. After that, you can go ahead and put your screen back on. You can see how it goes because your fittings need to fit in here. So you can just slide it over just like that. This connects to a USB port on the bottom of your motherboard. Any header is fine. And you can even attach the splitters if you need to. Then we can go ahead and attach our quick disconnects. One of the reasons I really like this 
is because in an open loop, you're gonna have all the radiators in the world, but no case fans. You're, gonna, you're worried about your CPU temperature and your GPU temperature, and you're not worried about things like VRMs, which just from those overheating can cause you to lose performance. In our testing, we found that running it just like this over a standard competitor's water block dropped us 12C on the VRMs. That alone at the same temperature gained us 50 megahertz with nothing else changed, just VRM temperatures difference. It's, 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 it's not nothing. It's, it doesn't sound like a ton, 50 megahertz, but when you're considering, you know, if your process is running at five gigahertz, you know, 50 megahertz is just 1%. But it's kind of cool, it's cool. 1%, I mean, not nothing. You're talking about people doing overclocking and saying, oh, I get 7%. Yeah, for, you know, 15% more power. This is the same power, same temperatures, just from VRM efficiencies from running cooler. For actual CPU temperatures, this went toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the leading competitor blocks. I'm talking about a CPU block that costs $200 and has no fan, no screen, anything. This is a steal. At $239, the value add from the VRM fan, the screen, it comes with two rotary fittings, and two compression fittings. The Trikes Panorama water block went toe to toe with a leading competitor's water block that costs $200. That doesn't include a screen, doesn't include a VRM fan, and it doesn't include the rotary fittings or compression fittings. So how did this perform thermally? We compared this against a competitor's flagship block and the Trikes water block went toe to toe with it. I'm talking about a competitor's block that costs $200 and doesn't include the screen, it doesn't include the VRM fan, and it doesn't include any either the fittings or the rotaries. So if you want to pick up this water block, go to Trikes' website. You'll be able to find some more information on it there, including other availability. But you wanna get this bad boy in a full open loop, pre-configured and pre-built, check out aviadirect.com. It's already available in our custom configurator, or you can contact our sales team if you want a little something a little more exotic. I know Trikes is normally known for the AIO coolers, which are some of our top performing coolers, but this is a gift for the fans. If the people that loved the AIOs, they wanted to do open loop. So Trikes said, here you go. Take our top of the line cooler and we're gonna make it a water block for you. So you can have our ecosystem and our beautiful screen in your personal rig. This is what peak performance looks like, ladies and gentlemen.